Hi guys, this time I will show you guys a video a time lapse of a unicorn I painted. And you might be wondering, do I like painting unicorns? Actually, um, I thought I do, I don't. And then I've received more requests of painting unicorns, so I'm starting to get the hang of them. I'm still not a fan of them, but hey, <laughs> this actually helped me to open my horizon and get new ideas of what I could do and I don't know if I, I like looking at rainbows and I like the idea of rainbows but it never actually occurred to me to actually paint them because I find them I quite struggle I'm more of an earthy tones and I mean I do love my bright colors but I just mix them with their contrary or the opposite friends and I just turn them into browns and greys but anyways this was a request by Irene a little girl she wanted a front face unicorn with rainbow hair the unicorn the actual unicorn had to be white with a little bit of pink so I was like well honey that's not the easiest thing you're asking me to do but hey I'll go for it so I've decided to start off painting the unicorn and I was actually thinking when painting uh, well a unicorn is a horse with a horn and I'm quite comfortable painting horses at least as far as I know and as far as I, my cap capabilities are going um, I was quite happy and you know the colors turned out well they didn't get too muddy I didn't mix them up too much, I didn't turn them into greys and browns, so I was quite happy with that. And then I realized, oh boy, the girl asked for a unicorn, I actually forgot to draw the horn. <laughs> and I mean, that's a struggle of my daily life, when I just start painting something, I have an idea in my head and then I realize, oh my god, I forgot to paint. The horn in this case or oh my god I forgot to leave out the white of the eyes and that's probably something that everybody struggles with at least uh, because I'm one of those people who does not plan ahead I don't like planning ahead of what I'm gonna do I pretty much sketch a little bit until I'm happy with what I do and then I try to recreate that and I know I should do some planning but that's just taking away from my time and I feel like if I would do that, maybe, maybe actually I would waste less time of my life doing it, but, wow, that's just me. So, uh, the horn in the end turned out okay, I finally managed to add a horn even though it was not a white one, so I'm still waiting on the little girl to tell me whether she's happy with a bluish, purplish horn, or if she wants me to redraw this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, those are the struggles of my life. I'm starting to kind of like them. I mean, they're just pretty much white horses and I love painting horses in general. And then when I showed her the painting before I actually added this black, she said, oh, but it's, can you add like black lines like a cartoon? Because that's what she wanted, actually wanted, but she didn't know how to say it until she saw it. So I decided to take it the next day just add some black ink and then she was pretty much happy with what she got so <laughs> this is the struggle of my daily life where I pretty much forget to add in details that were supposed to be there and were essential I hope you guys liked it I actually um, had quite much fun with this even though I thought I wouldn't I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial bye